gospel artist and he goes by the name Israel. Israel, welcome on board. Now before I start asking you questions, I want you to just sing for me. Let's feel you. Not for me, not for those watching at home. Let's feel you. Alright. So, let me do the one that my recent job, that is personal person because my first one was actually brand new, which I installed a sad one. Okay, let's start with the personal person. Okay. Me and I'm on a personal person, personal person case. Me and I'm on a personal person, personal person case. He's my Lord and also my Savior, okay. my Redeemer, and also <coughs> my love in my life. He's my mentor <laughs> in my soul. He's my Savior, my Savior. Okay, okay, if I leave you, I'm sure you will sing the old days and we'll not have questions to ask you. Okay, now let's talk about your personal person. You're talking about God there? Eh? Yeah. Okay. And Israel, that's your stage name or your real name? My stage name. Why Israel? Yeah. It's actually is real. Oh, chill. Is real. Yeah. So who now funkified it to Israel? Um, is some people put I S, but the actual thing I put there was I Z R E A L. Okay. So. Alright. Okay, so um why gospel music? You know, most young people out there they are into hip hop and then some will say they are into Afro hip hop, they'll funky put Afro there, but now you decide to go into gospel. Why gospel music? Well, it, I would say everybody in life with um, their reason for doing things. I will say my reason for singing is not just because of the money, mm -hmm. but also to push the gospel to a certain level, to, as in, to a height where every other uh, secular artist mm -hmm. takes songs to go play. I feel like I can also entertain mm -hmm. people of God in that same manner. Okay, so it goes beyond money and fame for you. Yeah. Okay, so apart from music, what other things do you do? Well, I'm a screen writer. I write scripts. Mm -hmm. Though actually, I've not my work has not yet come out, but right now I'm working on it. Okay, so how many albums do you have now? I still working on my album. We have some singles. Or? Yeah, I have two singles out. Okay, let's talk about the singles that you have. I have a brand new. That was my first, my second single. My first was Land of Nigeria, an inspirational song, and the second is brand new. I feature Sally Star okay. and Ice Boss. What's brand new all about? It's an appreciation song. I wrote the song as in a way of expressing my gratitude to God for having brought me out and, you know, giving me the talent in the first place okay. and helping me to come out. God, it's not easy, you know. Coming out, yeah, I know. I've heard that from so many of coming out. It's not easy, actually. Hmm. All right, so, um, still talking about brand new now, you work with Solid, Solid Star. Yeah. So, what is a, he's a popular artist. Yeah. What do you gain, you know, working with him? Well, in terms of experience now. My experience with him or what I gain from him. Experience, experience. My experience in working with him, it's a nice one. He's not proud. Is this type that if he says you're serious, he will also be serious with you. And uh, he likes to encourage coming up artists mm. to work hard. Mm. That don't just believe, you know, some believe if you do one funny thing, you're going to blow, no. One funny thing like what? I some people believe like that, but he's <laughs> not that type, you know. Okay. So he will tell you work hard. When you work hard, your work will actually speak for you. For you, okay. So. And has your work been speaking for you? Yes. Okay. Yes, my work has been speaking for me. Brand new actually gave me a name, as I can say. You know, he gave me a name and uh, I got connections from it. Before this, my personal person that I did alone. Okay, let's talk about your personal person. What's the idea behind the song? Uh, you see, when I did personal person, 
some people were like, you know, maybe he has cha changed from singing gospel into sakula. He did hip hop stuff like that because he's carrying hair. And, Afro, and, mm -hmm. and I was like, why gossiping? Why don't you mind your business? I am God, understand ourselves. Okay. He's my personal person. Okay. He understands me more than anyone else within and around me, you know. God understands me more. Mm. So that is the whole idea. And, and the second idea is a, a kind of testimony of his affection towards me. You know, if God loves us, God loves every one of us, He also shows it in, in our life. As in when we are in need or one or two things we're facing, facing difficulties or something, okay. He shows that affection that He has love for us. Okay. Uh, as an upcoming artist, uh, what has been your motiva motivating factor? My motivating factor. Uh, if I say we, you say God. That's why you say What? <laughs> it's the word of God. <laughs> in fact, you are a real gospel artist. Thank you. <laughs> okay, now let's talk about. Um, do you have role models? People you look up to? Yes. Both foreign and um, at home here? Yeah. Um, foreign, I can't say anyone. But here, I have Gucci mm -hmm. and I have Kefi. Kefi? Yeah, I like her style. I like her song gives me courage. You know? Okay, do you intend working with her? Yeah. Okay, Okay. because time is not on our side, I want you to um, just project into your future in two to three years time. What do you hope to achieve? Would you hope to work with, awards, you know, things like that? Well, by that is by the grace of God, mm. and I'm working towards that. But in three years' time, I am believing that by then I will be passing in the street without everyone saying, "That's this guy, that's this guy." You know, that's Israel, the gospel singer, mm. and uh, you intend to be very famous. Yeah, famous, and uh, as well be a model, a role model for upcoming, upcoming. gospel singers, not just upcoming say, uh, go uh, artists, but gospel upcoming gospel singer. artists. Okay, okay. Model awards and award um, let the best come from God, that's all I know, <laughs> all I can say here. Yeah. Because you I don't be a preacher of the gospel. Yeah. Okay, Israel, thank you very much for coming on Life and Style. I wish you all the best. You decide to, to go for gospel music. I wish you all the best and I'm sure God will continue to support you Amen. since you're trying to, you know, um, tell people about God through your music. Life and Style will be right back after this break. Please stay with us. Mm -mm. Fatai Rolling Dollar, a Nigerian musician whose West African highlight music and infectious guitar playing made him a beloved figure in Nigeria. The guitarist and singer, whose real name was Fatai Olariwaju Olagunju, was born on the 22nd of July 1926. He was known for his zest for life and energy, even in old age. He was also a marvel to all who beheld him perform. Fatai had fallen into obscurity after High Life's popularity faded decades ago, only to have his career revitalized by Ashiwaji Bolatinumbu after the liaison de France was brought back into public consciousness. He continued playing energetic concerts into his 80s, usually sporting sunglasses and often boasted of his sexual prose. He fell ill shortly after he returned from the United States about three weeks ago and eventually died on Wednesday 12, June 2013. In High Life's golden era, Fatai was a nationally celebrated performer. He sang in his native Yoruba language as well as in Pidgin English. His popular song, Wakere Sinombawa, that is, They Cannot Match Us, asserted his generation's superiority over those younger than him. A Yoruba man from southwestern Nigeria, he once said he was given his nickname when he was a child because he often carried a few American dimes in his pocket that he and his friends would roll or flip. Fatai's colorful personality showed in his music and his dressing. With his talent ignored and his fame forgotten, he lived in poverty from the 1970s until the late 1990s when he was rediscovered. Welcome back. The program is still live and style. Before that musical break, you saw our personal triple file segment where we paid tribute to the late icon, Atai Rolling Dollars. Okay, I have with me my last guest on the program today. They are members of the Student Union Government, Federal College of, College of Education, Akoka. I have with me in the studio, Michael Ajayi and Sukomi Irububu. Hey guys, welcome on board. We are talking about Campus Trumpet. Yeah. Mark Vinny just launched. Yeah. Tell us what's Campus Trumpet all about. Actually, as the name implies, 
as something you know we all know what the trumpet is mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. a musical instrument that actually brings out a lot of sound and noise mm -hmm. so when we're talking about this campus trumpet this magazine is actually the first of its kind in our college we are okay. trying to tell people that this magazine is actually bringing out a loud podcast